three, two, one. Hello there, my fellow stars. It's Ventrix here, and this might be a start of the new series. It just depends on how many likes are on it. If you guys want this series here to start up, this is another game I've been playing quite a lot of called Aurora Kingdom. This is another online MMORPG that's like more anime based, if you like anime. And I really have been playing this game a lot recently. Like, I've been really into it. Because I haven't played it since 2017, like somewhere around June. So I re downloaded it and I kind of got attached to it again. So here we are, we're choosing our character that we want to go by. So I'm going to go with something I haven't chosen yet, but something I still like. So we're just going to look through these characters. This is um, a duelist, which uses two swords. She's pretty epic. Um, then we got. So we got the class Guardian, who has the shield and the sword. And then we got the Ravenger, which has the axe. And then we got the Duelist, which carries two swords. Then we got the Gunslinger, which is pretty epic looking. I kind of want to do Gunslinger, because you could actually choose gender in this game, unlike on Vindictus, there's a gender choosing thing. So that's pretty epic. So I might go with her, that character, but I'm not sure. And then there's this Grenander guy who has like this giant, like. And then we got the mage here. I already played this character, that's why I skipped it because I already have a character that plays as this one. This is pretty much the supportive class in this game. She can heal and all that stuff. So if you like to be healer, that's the character for you. And then we have this character, the sorcerer, which also with the mage, I believe this is a mage. Oh, it's a wizard. And a sorcerer, so there's two types of like magic users. Actually, three types if I count the the harp character. So three types of magic users. And then we got the brawler, which is this got the claws, which is pretty epic. And then we got he seems like a pretty cool class. I might go with this class. I'm not sure though. And then we got the ranger, which is of course with the bow. And then we got Ronin. Which has this long sword, which is pretty slick looking also. Like, there's so many classes to choose from in this game. It's hard because they all look amazing. To be honest, the, I, I, with the whole thing up here, I'm, I'm actually wanting to go with this class because they, their attacks look amazing. And then this character I already have a class of. She is the scythe, the reaper using type of scythe class, which is really cool. You can actually have a character with a scythe once again in this game. And then we got the Holy Sword, which is, oh wow. It's like the one-handed heavy sword, so it's really cool looking. I, I, with with their looks, it's very tempting. Like, look at that armor. You would want armor like that, because it's just amazing looking. It's hard to choose classes. I already have a Shinobi, so I'm not going to be choosing a Shinobi in this one. Shinobis are amazing, though. If you play this game, I'd recommend Shinobi. Really amazing character. And if you are a support class, I'll choose the Bard. And then here's the Lance character, which is really cool looking too. That is so cool! Huh, it's really hard to choose though. I might go with the Holy Sword to be honest, I have not used this class yet. Actually, there's a lot of classes that I haven't used yet, because you can only have like three characters per like lobby, so... I might just go with this character for this one because it sounds really fun. So I'm just hoping that the music isn't too loud because if it is, I'm really sorry about that. Didn't mean to make that noise either. But now we got our character here. Like, look at this beautiful blue. And if you guys don't know, my favorite color is blue. It's it's just one of my favorites. It's been my favorite for a while now. And she just wears a lot of blue. There's another character who wore a lot of blue too, of course. Like the the guy with the blue lance looked amazing too. I was gonna choose that class. But I really want to go with the character with the giant sword because it kind of brings me back in the good old days when I had this one character on Fiesta who also used just a big, like, two handed sword. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose our face, which I think if I was to think of Ventrix, she had like one of the more innocent looking faces. And then the hairstyle, she would have the short hairstyle like this, I'll have to say definitely. But I'm going to just go look through it a little bit more. They got a lot of cute hairstyles too. like. This game is like very cute styled base and I really love it. And then we have this short hairstyle, which is very cute, which would also match me. 
And we got that hairstyle. And we got back all the way to one. So it's between this hairstyle and the other really short hairstyle. I think I might go with this one because I like the little thing that sticks up here. Like the little hair antenna. I don't know. One of those things have always been my favorite in anime because I find it really adorable. So Now we're going to find our brown hair, which would be probably this one. Our hair is definitely not that color. So yeah, I'd say that brown would be perfect with us. And then also, I just realized this hair does have like a little bit of almost looking bob cut too, a little bit. It's just like shaved down a little bit, kind of like how my hair is right now. It's just that she has longer bangs up front than me. <laughs> so she's looking pretty perfect right now. Now we gotta go with eye color, which I think is already brown, but I'm not sure. Let's see what other eye colors we have. I'm really tempted to make them blue in this game, but I'm going more with my realistic looks. Like, my Minecraft character, my Vindictus character. I'm just making her more like, like, look like me in a way. So then we got our skin tone, which I could say I'm not that pale. I'm not, uh, maybe that one? Hmm. It's really hard to choose skin tones because sometimes in games it doesn't really look too much like your skin tone. I think this one's perfect though right here. So let's say that's my, my skin tone. I think I'm just going to name myself Ventrix though. Because I think that name is actually free. If this name is not free I'm going to cry. That name is available. Perfect. I love it. I love when my name is free. I just love it. Because in Vindictus, my name wasn't free. That's why I went by It's Ventrix. I couldn't get the normal Ventrix. Ooh, ow, my nail. I just pushed my nail into the, the desk. That hurt. So here's like the little emojis. She waves. And then that. She has like some cool emojis. Like all these characters get their own emojis. Just like any other game. And then, now we gotta confirm our character, and now we gotta choose the Edelon that we want. So, I think I'm still gonna go with this guy. I don't know why, I just really like the Regal Unicorn. He's just my favorite a bit, to be honest. Like, I'm not too girly when it comes to things, but I, I still like the Unicorn because it looks epic in this game, so. I'm definitely going for it. So, here we go. And now we're heading into the first part of the story. This game does have a story with it. Also, there's also some pretty sweet cutscenes. So I'm hoping that will show. Because sometimes, like, back then when I was doing this on my laptop, there's another one I was playing called Twin Saga, made by the same people who made this. And for some reason, it wouldn't show the cutscene in my recorder. It's like, why is it not capturing this cutscene? So hopefully it'll show the cutscene for you guys. So, Ventrix, I brought you this weapon you need. I hope you like it. I worked really hard on it. Well, what are you waiting for? Give it a swing for God's for God's sake. There's a important battle looming and we need to get we need to make sure you're well prepared. So we want so we got equipped it right now. So we got to accept that. And then that should be in our inventory, like right here. Right click that. Equipped it. And we need to talk to her again, which I could just click this to auto walk to her. It's it's you well. I wish I were giving it to uh, I wish I were giving it to you under better circumstances. I had always hoped to create a perfect weapon for you, but I, bought the gi but I thought the gift would be happier for a happier occasion. The decisive battle is, be is about to begin, Ventrix. Destroy the, the demons with the weapon we have made for you. Show no mercy. And Alyssa nods sharply. Templar command, Andre has been left for the front lines. However, the Shadow Knight's minions have a curly ten tenacious. Even skilled Templars find it difficult to take down these fo those foes. All of our hopes the rest upon you. We must defeat the Shadow Knight. Alright. So we're gonna accept that. And if you guys are new to this game, if you watch this, I'll show you guys how to get through this thing. You just walk along this path that's in front of you and you meet with Andreas and he'll make you go the way that they're pointing right now. So I'm going to talk to him right now. Come on, Ventrix, there are so, still so many demons to defeat. This battle end will mean the start of a start for us. Ah, I mean a start for us. It didn't occur to me, but it will take much manpower to defeat the beastly demons. They're far stronger than we anticipated. 
We have we have to do something, and there's no time to waste. Andrew glances at the direction of the demon army. His brow froed. froed. Just as I expected, there they are. Andrew points through a few stronger, taller demons in the army. The tall. Oh. Uh. Um. Uh, oh no. What do you want from me? Um. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm just gonna ignore that. Hopefully, it's not showing up on my screen for you guys. Um. My game's frozen too, which sucks. So I'm gonna be right back, guys. I'm gonna restart my game and I'll see you guys when I am back. All right, guys. So we're back and we're gonna press start. Hopefully, yeah, it's gonna take us right to where we were. I don't know what that thing was. It was never happened to me. Like I said, I play this a lot, so it's kind of weird that it did that to me. I don't know what happened. Maybe I accidentally clicked something. Um. So, yeah, it looks like I could show their players again. Actually, I had it disabled the whole time. I actually didn't know. We're going to talk to Commander Andre again. I hope that doesn't happen. It didn't occur to me. It didn't occur to me that with a bunch of... Uh, we are read this. Probably just expected. It's all one command. Uh, okay. And then we're going to talk to him again. Today we end the nightmare that plagued our land. Templars bring our weapons to... The bring our Templar to ready. And then they run forward. And now, what I gotta do, since apparently I'm the lead, I gotta go for this big guy over here. So that's what they want me to do. They want me to take out this big dude. So we're gonna take him out. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I think someone tried to private message me and it kind of like screwed up my game. So look at those attacks. Dang, she's strong. So now we can walk forward, which is uh, this way. I'm sorry, the music. Let me just fix the music volume real quick. So... Uh, switch this and sound and music volume perfect okay that should be a problem now so now we're going to continue on hmm that's enough you don't think of going anywhere and we're sure it doesn't feel right that's just what it says up there I'm not sure if we're going to be reading everything throughout this game. Probably going to be reading like, the main dialogue. So if you guys want to read like the little horoscope thing that's popping up there, you guys can. I'm not going to really be reading that. But if you guys want to read that, maybe I'll be reading like, the speech bubbles are important. But for now, nah. So now we run forward. Look at all these people with all these cool weapons. Plus, I'm gonna have to keep the commander. Yeah, it's just like him giving out commands of like all that stuff. So this character, I have to say, is pretty cool with their attacks. I really love it. So hopefully we can get like into more of the attacks and learn her a little bit more, cause this is pretty epic. So really, that's the last demon command now. Now what's next? Oh yeah, we can read it just in chat. Looks like there's someone summoning right in front of us. Ooh, a Shadow Knight. Green heart. I see the ship of fools has a sunk. Yeah, sunk. Shadow Knight, you. Oh, Andre, you don't have to put. You don't have to put your potential coward to hold you back. Oh no, you attacked him. Hear me, the shadow. Okay, let me just reread this after it's all done because I don't like what text moves when I'm trying to read it. It's actually annoying to me. So here's what happens. So what he said when we first did that, the last of the demon commanders, and now what's next? I see the ship of fools has it sunk, says Reinhardt. Shadow Knight, you, says Andre. Reinhardt. Oh, Andre, you have potential, but your cowards hold you back. Andre, your twisted future has no place in this world, Shadow Knight. How pre pre bleh, press punctuous. If you think that you're match for me, then he says, ah, uh, because of course you got shocked down, poor guy. Hear me, Shadow Knight, even if I fall here, heroes will rise and stop you. Evil will not endure. Are you sure? I'll be waiting for you to show me. And then finally, he's just wanting me to talk to him right here. Arg. Alright, complete that. 
Blast it! There must be a way to defeat this guy! Through grievously injured, Adri stains against the pressure expert exerted by him in Shadow Knight. Ventrix, you and your Edelons are the last of line of defense. You're the only you're the only one strong enough to withstand the Shadow Knight's dark power. Andrew groans and grits his teeth and struggles to persist the Shadow Knight's crushing power. You approach Andre with the intent get of driving away the invisible power which has chained him down. Forget about me, Ventrix. Everything we have fought for it will be in vain if you fall. He gazes his ur urgent pleading. The only way we could combat the Shadow Knight is incompressing evil, though the power of to the power of Gaia. You take a you take a deep breath, feeling the power of Gaia surge through your body. With a flash of light, an Edelon appears before you. The Edelon regards you with a stock stoic gaze before tensing for a battle stance. Ready to fight? You nod firmly to your Edelon. Prepare to use every last ounce of your power. We have to destroy the Shadow Knight before his evil consumes all. You're going to use your ultimate skill, aren't you? Do it together with the Edelon and defeat him. I don't I don't recall you ever being this hopefully in incompetent, Andre. The Shadow Knight exerts more on Andre and the Templar crying out in agonizing pain. Arg, blood spatters from his mouth and falls to his knees. But he grits his teeth, glaring at the Shadow Knight with fierce defiance. Ventrix. Ventrix will definitely defeat you. Oh, is that so? I suppose you insist we shall demonstrate Ventrix's true power is. Once you accept the mission, you'll engage it, of course. It just tells you engage it, so I'll accept. And we will fight him. And this is the third skill, which is what we use together with our Edelon. So, just like that, you can use that and you have a lot more damage. Get rid of these normal attacks a while I wait for it to reload up. So now we can use this again and we should be able to defeat him now. There we go. So that's perfect. We took him out really fast there. So now we need to talk to him again. Have you made it? Andre grabs the sword, squeezing the hilt tightly. You feel a sense of independent dew pressing down on you. Upon you. So it's complete. And I'll show this awesome cutscene. Andre, what's wrong? He won't be defeated easily. That's wrong. He won't. Be careful. Did you really think that bag of tricks would defeat me? You seem awfully proud of beasting an illusion, beating an illusion. The courier like you should never hope for something like that, I guess. But we'd go try to attack him, of course. And your loathsome ilk will soon be wiped from Earth. Pandonium or something like that. Ah, it's here. He's just like mocking us. And any laughs at us, be it. So, blah, 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 blah. Oops. Okay. I'm just gonna make it quiet. Many lifetimes ago. Many lifetimes ago. An object ah, of incredible here we go. The tube of Gaia. Used its limitless power to create all life. It spun a world of limitless beauty and artistry, a masterpiece for all who dwelt there. Bred from this land of wonder were numerous creatures and cultures. The Cube of Gaia, whatever its true purpose selected some of the citizens of the world to be the holders of a strange power. They were given the ability to command the sacred beasts known as Eidolons. The cube simply granted this power. It did not control how it was used. Those with darkness in their hearts used the Eidolons to commit crimes and atrocities. Those with noble hearts used the Eidolons to aid their selfless acts of bravery. To this day, no one can be certain of the Cube of Gaia's intentions, but the people chosen by the Cube have written the history of this land with their exploits. Those chosen, whether they acted for good or ill, are known by a common name. Envoy of Gaia. Oh, there you have it. That was a pretty cool 
animation intro, wasn't it? Like, I really love this game for its cutscenes and everything. The nightmare fatigues you greatly through your fractures and struggleish. You relieve that the terrible dream was only that, but you regret not. Being able to okay, let me see if I can get. Rid I can't get rid of this. This is what annoys me. So then the people, the people in your dream seem more powerful and important. Not all the people you know at the small fishing island. How did you dream? How did the dream end? You, whatever that says. Oh my god, I wish I could see that! Ventrix, are you zoning off? I thought you were supposed to deliver some of the goods to Lady Shayla. Or, yeah, Shayla, I think it is. You're an official garrison member. I shouldn't need to remind you to do your job. I like you a lot. Don't let me down. The boss wants to discuss something with the boss wants to discuss something with me, so go ahead and meet the chief's wife. You're not sure or when you fell asleep yesterday. You agreed to deliver the merchandise to the chief's wife. It looks as though you might have to deliver and apologize to her. So yeah, it looks like it seems like all that was a dream. So it's gonna show you how to control your character, which I already know how to pretty much. Which is pretty fun. Just It's just the W ASD button, it's like always. And then right click to move this, or left, like, left click to just turn it without moving your character, just like that. So, getting used to these controls are pretty hard with the games I already play right now, but I got used to them pretty fast. So, we're gonna go see what Shayla's up to, and we're gonna apologize for it. Vinchix, have you forgotten our promise already? She'll ask with a gentle smile. You apologize to Shayla and ask if there is a way to make up for, to her. Your apology is quite sincere. I forgive you and I have another task, Shayla says with a kind smile. These boxes of jam just arrived at the front port. Please help me deliver it to the merchants in the village. Shayla gives you, gives you a frown only an irritated mother can give. Also, ask them if they have seen my son, Joel. I have no idea where he is. Ah, interesting. And it'll just pop up like these random like little things. If you didn't know, there was actually something that you can eavesdrop and gain information, which is very funny in a way. So that's a thing in this game, is you can eavesdrop and then just hear, like, the little NPCs talking beside you. So so now we're going to Anne. I'm just going to call her Anne, because I don't know how to say her full name. Oh, there's something you... Oh, is there something I can help you with? Oh, that's just like a little thing. This is so unusual. You're helping Lady Shayla deliver goods today? I suppose you're a real garrison member. Keep up the good work. From now on, everyone treat you like an adult. Perhaps you'll travel the world meeting Marajas and princesses. Or maybe you'll live and work in Fishing Port all your life. You know the either way. Just remember this. On one in the outside world you can be diff you can buy different potions in various drug stores. You might also find some special items there too. You ask Anne if she has seen Joel. Joel didn't come to the marketplace today. It's a bit odd. He usually stops by. So it looks like they didn't see him, so that's kinda interesting. Makes you wonder where he go off to. Now we're gonna see Betsy. Alright, that's just a little introduction thing. Ventrix, would you like to buy a piece of uh, Beast Tusk light armor? We carry the armor in all sizes and we... is What is this? Betsy takes a jar and of jam and examines it suspiciously. Wait, I clearly told Anna Anne, that I didn't want any jam. It's too sweet. I like my jam salty and sour. Betsy huffs. Well, let's just forget about the jam. Why don't you treat yourself to some new armor? Being a garrison member in the fishing village is not exactly a dangerous job, but c from time to time you'll need to clear out some monsters, and you'll be happy to have a steal between steal their oh uh, between their claws and your heart. You ask Betsy if she's seen Joel. I saw him yesterday, but not today. Ah, so she hasn't seen Joel today either. Hmm, where'd that boy go, man? With a Cory, let me see this. 
the quality well yeah it's just it's like jam at last my toast will have to be going naked Cory pops the jar off and dips his finger and slips the gel eagerly mmm Anna Anne was right the jam is perfectly sweet and tart would you like some I promise my fingers are clean Cory follows your gaze to the newly pronounced weapons impressed right these weapons came from abroad all came from aboard this one here, for instance, is the battle axe, a symbol of strength, and over the staff is a symbol of intelligence. I'll give you a tip, Jelly Kid. When you have some time, just visit weapon shops and uh, in different places. You might find ex exceptionary, exceptionary, good weapons at reasonable prices. You can ask Corey if he's seen Joel. Joel? No, I haven't seen him today. So, they haven't seen Joel either. Where did that boy run off to? So, I'm going to return this last quest. And now I'm going to be ending this episode off here. And then you guys will have to be the choosers if you want this series to go up. It'll be on Tuesdays with um, Pixelmon if I feel like it. Because Pi Pixelmon? I don't know. I'm very in not really skilled with it and all that stuff. So... I don't really know. I'm sorry about the hiccups, too. It's like horrible whenever I catch hiccups. So we're going to talk to her. Have you delivered the jam? You've truly grown. It's time for you to start saving your money. So Stella places some gleaming coins into your palm and closes the fingers around them. Have you... Oh, okay. Did he emergency Joel? You shake your head and tell her that no other merchants have seen him. Seen him today. Hearing this, Stella's irritation starts to turn to worry. Ooh, that is worrying now. Hasn't anyone seen Joel? Where is that boy gone? Stella glances around anxiously. He can't have gone too far. She hangs her head, looking desp despondently at the lunchbox in her hand. I ought to go look for him. Could you bring this lunchbox to my husband, York? When you see him, ask him if ask him to find you a suitable job. All right. So that's where I'm going to end up with this episode. If you guys want this to go, because this is the cliffhanger. If you guys want me to continue with this game, be sure to show some support. And definitely show me that you guys want more of this. Because this is our MMORPG that I've really gotten into. And I was actually able to get my name just Ventrix. So it's Ventrix. So that's pretty neat. So that's where I'm going to wrap up with this episode episode for the day. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. Show some support if you want more, because the like button will tell me how many of you guys enjoyed this episode, and how many of you guys want this to continue. And, if you guys are new, and you like this video, and you like what you see on my channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and so you can keep up with my live streams or videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. I don't know if I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow. It depends on the temperature. Because it's been singeing hot lately. And I don't know if I'm going to do it. So hopefully there will be. I don't know. So I'm going to probably just go record another extra video. Just in case I don't live stream. I'm sorry about that guys. For not doing any live streams lately. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. See everyone.